Hey, it's Dr. Letitia Wright, host of the Right Place Television Show, <laughs> America's Crowdfunding Strategist. Wanted to get my live in today because today is going to be a busy day. I know my hair is like bigger and bigger and bigger every day. Don't know what's going on. It's on its own world tour, so whatever. Um, so today is the start of all the BET stuff. Um, tonight I'll be going to a um fashion show in Santa Monica. Hi, Flo. So I will be um going live from there if I can, sending some pictures and stuff. Uh, definitely taking some pictures. Hopefully I will have time to download from here so I can empty this out, charge it, and be ready with this. So I'll have some really good pictures. But if not, of course, cell phones all always available. And I have charged up my um, second battery pack. So I'm ready, ready, ready. Um, <clears throat> and um, looking forward to it. Going to wear the yellow jacket, plaid striped pants. And I'm going to go to Walmart and get some camis just under the jacket. Just a white one because it has white stripes in the pants. So um, the cami is not the thing. The jacket and the, and the pants suit I think I'm going to wear. And um, some wedge heels I'm going to wear. Um, they're always really comfortable. You can wear wedges for long periods of time. I plan on getting early. I also have an interview on Instagram at 3 p.m. Los Angeles time. Um, so that's going to be live. So <clears throat> I'm going to leave like right after that to get to Santa Monica. I live in California, but I don't live close to Santa Monica. So unfortunately, I will be on the freeway driving, you know, like a maniac. I filled my car up. So my car is on full. I'm going to make this quick run to Walmart and, you know, that's close to the house. So I won't be using it. Up. I do need to go to the car wash too. So I'm going to, um... I need to make those two runs, car wash and Walmart. Um, yeah, that's a lot this morning. Um, what else is going on? So let's talk about you guys and your business. Hi, Morpheus. Thank you for following me. Thank you, Johnny B. Bad, for following me. Um, so I'll let you guys know about the BET stuff and how that works. It is music week and they have all kinds of events. So let's talk about you guys, your business. And one of the things that I do, I do two things, crowdfunding. I'm still going to be talking about crowdfunding and how you can raise money for your business. Um, we talked about a class that I'm going to do, uh, that is going to be really how you can raise a quick $5,000, uh, really just from your mobile phone and it does take participation so I have to be honest with you uh, crowdfunding a lot of people are like, I'm just gonna look for grants they somehow think grants are easier um, grants are great and there are some wonderful women on here that teach about grants uh, but you do have to find them you have to apply which means you're competing with other people and then you have to see if you get them you have to wait Whereas, hello, Ray, and well, as you have to, with crowdfunding, it's all about you and your tribe. So I want to talk about some crowdfunding myths, is that it's about you and your tribe. In other words, you can go through your cell phone and you can raise $5,000, okay? You can raise $5,000 just through your cell phone. So let's talk about crowdfunding for your small business. How many of you did not know you could raise money for your small business? Oh, let me take off the, thank you for the heart. Let me take off the mirroring so you can read what I'm talking about. How many of you did not know that you could raise $5,000 for your small business? Hello, uh, Layla. Um, hello, Bianca. How many of you did not know that you could raise money for your small business using crowdfunding techniques. How many of you thought you had to be some big startup and had to be going for millions and millions of dollars? I'm one of the top crowdfunding experts in America, top 100 crowdfunding in, experts in America. I've been teaching crowdfunding since 2010, so I'm not new to the game. Um, real, been here for years teaching people. I teach for the SBA. I teach for the... Uh, 
uh, I teach for business schools around the world. Matter of fact, I'm teaching for an international business school next year. I'll be teaching in Thailand. So I'm, I've been doing this for quite some time. If you want to talk to me about, uh, I'm going to give you a free link, okay, where you can talk to me about your, about crowdfunding for your business, your small business, okay? I'm going to give you a free link. You can make an appointment. It's going to be a phone call. It's going to be a phone call. We're going to talk about the possibilities and what you can do and the possibility of working with me. Not all of you guys can work with me because I'll be honest with you, I cost money. A lot of y'all don't have the money, but I'm going to give you some great ideas anyway. Um, I cost money to work with and I'm not cheap, so you're not all going to work with me, but we can at least talk about it. And here's the link. You ready? It's drwright.youcanbookme.com. You can book dot me. Dr. Wright. Here you go. Dr. Wright dot you can book dot me. That's a free appointment. I'm going to call you. No, you don't know my number. So pick up the phone when I call. Because if you don't pick up the phone when I call, your appointment is missed. My time, your time, everybody's time is important. But I'm here to help. I'm here to talk to you about getting money for your business. The class that I'm doing is how to use, how to raise really $5,000 just with the people you know inside your cell phone. And the thing that everybody is always all weirded out about, that's right. Put the dot in there, Ray, between the Dr. Wright and the you. Thank you so much. Dr. Wright dot you can book dot me. Thank you so much, Ray. That is very, very helpful. Thank you for following me, Monica. I appreciate you. Um, Monica Lockett. Uh, so these are all ways that you can get more money for your business. Even if you've already started your business, even if you're about to start your business, you can use this technique. Why does this take? Hey, Leslie, how are you doing? There you go. Um, Leslie's an old G. She's an old tribe member. She not, she's not old. She's old in terms of she's been with me. She's not old. She's a tribe member that's been around since I've been on TikTok. Um, so um, she knows me and she's got, that's perfect, Ray. Thank you so much. That is absolutely perfect. Dot, you can book dot me. You can book dot me. Almost perfect. Thank you so much for making the effort because you don't have to do that. And the fact that you're even trying, I truly appreciate you from my heart. Um, this is the thing, you guys, you need money for your business. And when you're crowdfunding, you're not begging people for money. You're not asking people to give you money. Because some people are like, well, why do people just give me money? Why do people just give me They're not giving you money. They are, yes, yeah, she's not old. She's not old. She's, yeah, she's more mature from last year. We're all more mature from last year. She's not old. When I say she's an old tribe member, I just mean she's been with me for a while. And she's been with me longer than some of y'all have been with me. <laughs> That's all I meant. I did not mean she was old. That really just came out so the wrong way. <laughs> that is it. Thank you, Ray. Ray just kept going at it till he got it right. He, he raised it. OG. That's what I meant, Ray. OG. Ray gets me. Thank you, Ray. Ray is saving my butt. Because <laughs> it's coming out all wrong. <laughs> today okay thank you ray thank you ray because i'm not trying to scare her off <laughs> we got to keep everybody we can right we don't want to scare people off so um here's the thing it's not about people giving you money okay people are not just giving you money you said the appointment okay we family now okay ray awesome leslie says love you ray <laughs> And the reason why I'm reading all of this is because when you guys go back and watch the replay, the words that people are typing don't come up in the replay. So people who are watching the replay can't see what you guys are writing. So I always read what people are saying. Ray says, lots of good info. And Moon Goddess and Sway just joined. So thank you so much. And thank you, User8, for joining. MJ Washington just joined. Pete just joined. Um, 
and uh, Leslie says, love your back. Okay. So anyway, um, the thing is, is that people are not giving you money when you're doing crowdfunding. And when you're doing crowdfunding, you don't even have to say, hey, I'm crowdfunding. You don't even have to say those words because sometimes what happens is that people are like, well, what's crowdfunding? And you start spending all this time explaining crowdfunding instead of talking about what you're doing in your project. And, and and you're off on this rabbit trail explaining crowdfunding when that's not what you're talking to them about. Uh, Ray says, Dr. Wright is genuine and keeps it 100. Thank you so much. I try to be. I try to be, really. Um, hi, just followed me. Thank you so much. Hi for following me. Appreciate you. Hi, FICO. Like, hi, FICO score. <laughs> I think that's what I means, right? <laughs> and Big Nate, thank you. Thank you uh, for hopping in. And so what you're, you're doing is um, you don't have to say, um, lay, okay, you're booking now. Great, great. We can talk about your crowdfunding project. So what you're doing is you're not, um, you're not, you don't want to have a conversation about teaching people crowdfunding. That's not the conversation you want to have. The conversation you want to have is about what you're doing. So even if you are crowdfunding, you don't have to say, I'm crowdfunding. Just want to let you guys know that. You can if you want to, but you don't want to have conversations about crowdfunding because that's not what you're doing. Ray says, we all need to focus on building capital. However that looks like for you, find your niche. That's absolutely true. Some of y'all are going to get, and the thing is you can do all of them. You can get loans and get grants and crowdfunding. It's not like you got to do this or this or this. You can do all of them. You can be doing all of that and still crowdfund. You can have grants and crowdfund. You can get loans and crowdfund. You can pull money out your savings and crowdfund. Like you can do all of that and crowdfund. This is exactly what Ray says. We all need to focus on building capital. Build your capital however it looks for you. But I'm just letting you know, crowdfunding is definitely an option for you. It is definitely an option for you. Okay. You were up on my FYP? Yay! Hi, FICO says, exactly. Tiffany says, hello. Hello, Tiffany with the little sunflower. I love that little sunflower. Hi, Samantha. Thank you for liking the live and giving me hearts and tapping because that helps. So... The thing is, is that you don't have to say you're crowdfunding because we don't want to have a conversation about crowdfunding. We want to have a conversation about this is my project and this is how you want people to, um, you, yeah, you can have your cake and eat it too. Just have balance. Exactly. You want to have a conversation about your project and what you're doing with your business. So most of the time you are selling them something or you are having them invest in what you are doing, right? You're selling or you're having them invest in what you're doing. And so what you're going to be talking to them about is saying, hey, I have this going on. I have a pre-sale. I would like you to buy this. Can you, can you do it? And the answer is yes or no. They can either buy it or they can't. And if that, well, I got to think about it. A not a yes is a no. This is a lesson for you guys. Not a yes is a no. Thank you so much, Ray. You take care, okay? Thank you for jumping in while you can. Thank you. Appreciate you for helping me dig my way out of my hole. <laughs> okay, you have a great day. See you soon. So... You can, and for those of you who are still thinking about crowdfunding, it's Dr. Wright. There's a little dot there. You can book dot me. You can book dot me. That's where you can make a free appointment and we can talk about you raising funds through crowdfunding. We can see if we can work with you. I can give you some great ideas. Some of y'all are going to work with me. Some of you are not, but you're going to walk away with more education than you had when you got to me and you're going to understand what crowdfunding is about. So there are techniques you can use that you can literally use your phone and you can raise $5,000 off the people you know in your phone. Yes, perfect, Ray. Dr. Wright, you can book me. Make an appointment. Let's talk. 
Here's the thing about crowdfunding. It's either a pre-sale or it's investing. There are crowdfunded loans. You can even ask people to invest in a crowdfunded loan. That's a slightly more complicated way of doing things. Uh, I can teach you about that, but that's that's definitely more in-depth. That's definitely more sophisticated way of doing things. But I think an investment is better because it doesn't have to be paid back on a monthly basis. You're not you're not obligated to pay somebody every month. It, a loan is a good investment for the people that are investing in you because every month they're getting ROI on their money. But that's probably not a high smoke. That's probably not a way to do it. You know, if you're looking at the cash flow for you, uh, paying back someone who invested, what happens is they got paid. They get paid back on the uh, money that they're making. They get paid back on the. Um, in, they, they get paid back on the profits. They get paid back on the profits. In other words, profits is coming in. Okay. And at the end of the year, okay, no matter how much money has come in. Maybe there's a thousand dollars worth of profits, and that has to be split through all the shareholders. So if there's a hundred shareholders, then probably maybe only a hundred people. I'm trying to make this right. A hundred people are gonna get a hundred dollars because there's only a hundred thousand dollars in profits, and there's a hundred shareholders. You guys understand that the share can work for a large business it's what it is you have to think bigger you have to think bigger crowdfunding can definitely work for you and it can be combined with everything else you're doing cash flow is important um i just made a video about cash flow and profits everybody seems to be responding to that whole thing that I posted from um, what's his name saying cash flow, ver you know having cash versus being profitable, but your cash going down. I made another video. It goes into it a little bit more. Yawning means I need more iron, so I'll make sure I take some iron because I got a long, long day. The fashion show is over at 9 p.m. So, and I'll be like an hour and a half away from home. So even if it's over right on time at nine. I'm still not getting home till 11 midnight. So it is what it is. Yep, yep, yep. So I will definitely be posting pictures from tonight. It's going to be so fun. I haven't been to a fashion show in forever. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm getting there early so I can get, you know, seats on the front row. And I'm bringing my Dr. Wright TV cards. I showed you my cards, my business cards. I'm ready to flash those all over the place. So they look like this on the back. So they have like Right Place TV and they have my address. And they don't have all of my social media stuff, but that's okay. I'll update them later. What is this little string on here? And then what I have is I have five versions of pictures on the back. Thank you, Buko, for say, uh, sharing that. So here's one picture. My hair was really nice and juicy that day. Let's see if I can get my hair back there today. Here's my other picture. Again, had nice juicy hair that day. Here is another picture. This is my friend Rosie. That is a real live elephant. It was a photo shoot with the elephant. It's not it's blurry on here, but it's not a blurry picture on the card. <laughs> It's a professional picture. And then there's this one. This is an older picture, actually, but it, my hair was doing good that day. Early in the pandemic. And this is, uh, I don't know, I was feeling really rebellious. And so what happens is when I give people these cards, I hand them to them this way, and then different people wind up with different uh, versions of the card. And when they talk amongst themselves, they figure out that they all don't have the same card. 
and then even people that came together wind out. Oh, the hair is always juicy. Don't let it fool you. It's a, it, it feels a little... I'm using a different uh, product today, and it feels a little drier, but big. I don't know. So, but you know me, I'm a product junkie. And yeah, have you seen that guy, Curl Daddy? Oh, I cannot wait to get his products. I might call him and ask him if I could try it for free, because his, his products are not cheap. But, uh, but I'm also not, you know, I'm not cheapster either. I would, I would totally buy it. Have you seen Curl Daddy, Leslie? I'm so ready to try his stuff. I am definitely a product junkie. Yeah, I'm I'm totally wanting to. I'm I'm gonna write him and ask him if he would let me try it. So we'll see. Yeah, I wish I had all these products when I was young. I'd have been, my hair would have been looking great when I was young. When I was young, all we had was Sulfur 8 and the green stuff and <laughs> and water. I remember people used to tell my mother, water train her hair. <laughs> Do you remember that, Leslie? Water training? Spraying water on your hair? I don't know what that was. Pink lotion. Um, I think pink lotion. I think I was a little bit older by the time pink lotion came out. And good Lord, in high school, we did not know what conditioner was. God, our hair was frizzy. It was bad. And I was always trying to get my hair pressed. And um, just did, didn't have the products. I just, I products help me a lot. It doesn't just fall like this. I need products. So, um I did not have a great time, so. <laughs> That's why when I go like to the ocean and the beach, I always get braids. Because, girl, salt water and me, woo. Just a poof, just a poof. A client told me she dipped her mom's hair in beer instead of water. Oh. Yeah, nobody ever, nobody ever did that for me. That might have been a thing. I've never actually tried that. I've never, I've never really tried that. But uh, my grandparents had a pool when I was little, and so uh, Perrier water was a thing. Yeah, yeah. You wind up. Well, I was going through the pressing thing when I was young. Oh, it was a mistake. Oh, it was a mistake. Got you. Okay. You know, they got products now, but when I was little, you know, nobody nobody knew what they were doing. If your hair didn't just naturally do that, there was no products to help it do that. That's all I'm saying. There was no products to help. Now I've got products to help, so that's cool. But yeah, they were tipsy. <laughs> that's hilarious. But um, to get chlorine out of your hair, Perrier water. Yeah, through your hair, if you, you swim a lot. So they did, my, my grandmother knew that much. So, yeah. Otherwise, the, the chlorine dries as a salt and breaks your hair strands. Because it's inside the hair strands, and it just, when it dries, it breaks the hair. So... Anyway, just just think. So sea salt is just like, woo, yeah. Gotta rinse it out. Gotta rinse it out. So braids makes it easier to wash, you know, constantly wash your hair, constantly wet hair. But um, yeah, I'm so proud of my little kids. So anyway, that is a trick. Moo Cards makes these kinds of cards, if you guys want to know. Moo, M-O-O -O dot com. Um, but I always use these kinds of cards because uh, it, it makes you very memorable. I'm a, I know I'm already memorable, but uh, people just really like this trick. So when you go out and you start networking, think about making different uh, varieties of your card. 
and uh, these are nice and thick. They're very thick, and they're vertical. I never do cards that are horizontal. I always do vertical. And then I also have a version of my card that's called a relationship card. And it just has my picture and my phone number. And it's for when you meet someone that you're not trying to sell anything. And this has my mobile phone number. It doesn't have my, this has my office phone number on there. So if you see this, you can see it's my office phone number, right? Well, it, my relationship card has my mobile phone number. And so, like, you meet, say you meet a movie star, and you're not trying to sell them nothing. So I don't want to be like, hey, right place TV show, blah, blah, blah. Like, I really just want to be a friend with that person. You can give them a card with your picture on it. And it's like, hey, da, da, da. And it's just your phone number. So it's just saying, I just want to be a friend. I just want to be a peer. I'm not trying to sell you. So I have those cards too. Every once in a while you meet somebody and you hit it off and you feel like you're friends. And so those cards are good. And then um, this is one of my crowdfunding cards. So I feel like it's blurry. I feel like it's not coming off right. But anyway, it says crowdfunding. Let's talk. And then on the back has all of my Dr. Wright information. Now, it does have my old office address, so some of this information is not good. But again, always vertical, always really thick cards. I always spend a lot on cards, always, because, um, you know, even if you don't have a lot going on, spend good money on your cards. Like, you might not have a lot going on or a lot of money. Spend good money on your cards. You may not even have an office. You may be working from your home office. They don't know. Spend good money on your cards. Don't get cheap and free cards. Definitely don't get free cards. All right, y'all, I got to run. Hopefully you can uh, meet me on uh, IG, 3 p.m. Los Angeles time, live. It's called, it's consulting time. It's consulting time. I'll be on there live. I am going to run and get a few tank tops for the rest of this week. Hi, Tails. Thank you for following me. Um... And uh, and then um, if I can go live tonight, I will. I, of course, I have to have Wi-Fi, so I don't know what the Wi-Fi situation is going to be. But I will definitely uh, get some good stuff and post. Uh, yeah, I'll be safe. I'll be fun. And we'll see. We'll see if this turns out to be the hairstyle for the night. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to try to well, fix it up or or what. I did get an a, a eyelash uh, sponsor, so I need to go to the mailbox and see if my uh, eyelashes came. If they did, I will let you know. And Because, uh, of course, I got to do a post. You Thank you so much, Tails. I'll see you guys soon. Follow me. Um, also, too, if you want an appointment to talk about your crowdfunding, here it is. DrWright.YouCanBook.me Free appointment. We can talk about it. You may work with me. You may not. But I can at least give you some ideas about funding and crowdfunding for your small business. DrWright.YouCanBook.me Okay? All right. Yeah, yes. I mean, you know what? It's, yes. Every day it's like, well, what will happen today? And, um, oh, and you know what Curl Daddy was saying? I use rose water for my face. He was saying use rose water and uh, uh, Leslie and Yaz. He was saying use rose water and uh, some other type of water. I can't remember what the other one is right now because I got a million things going through my head. But he was saying use rose water on your hair. I had never thought of that before. 
So, of course, I'm going to try it. So, I got to buy some, I like a gallon of rose water now, but, um, <laughs> but I don't know. I use water water, but I could use rose, anyway, I'm going to try. Let's try rose water. What, what do we have to lose? I hadn't thought, I hadn't thought about it. So, yeah, I'm going to try. Yeah, let's all try it. And then we'll meet back together and, and talk about it in a couple of days. So uh, I'm going to try it too. Okay. So Yaz and Leslie, we're all going to try rose water on our hair. And, you know, as part of the routine where we used to use, you know, water and then see what happens. Okay. You're just going to straighten your hair, Yaz? <laughs> She's like, forget it. I'm just going to straighten my hair. Okay. Well, I use water in my hair, you know, to freshen it every day. And so, and, and to just give it moisture, uh, I do, I use products, but let's, let's talk about it at the end of the week and just see what happens. But I'm going to, he was saying he uses rose water and I was like, I had never thought of that. I use it on my face. Okay, okay, so yeah, I said she'll try it. Leslie said she'll try it. Okay, so let's chat on Friday. I got stuff to do all day Friday. Um, So let's not do Friday. Let's chat. I got, wait, I got three events on Saturday. I think I have three events on Friday too. Okay, tentatively Friday. I know I have three events Saturday. So tentatively Friday on the live and we'll talk about it. But starting today, we're going to, tonight, today, oh, Monday? Okay, we'll start on Monday. We'll, st we'll, we'll talk on Monday. Okay, Monday. Thank you, Tails. You enjoy your day, too. Okay, so Monday, because then we have over the weekend and everything. Okay, Monday. Let's talk on Monday. Let's use it for the rest of the week and see what we think. I had never thought of that before. So let's try it. It can't hurt. I love, ro I have roses all in my yard. I love the smell of roses. Technically, I could probably be making my own rose water, but you know, like I got time for that. I'm already making hummingbird food, you know, hummingbird water. So, you know, I can't, I totally can. I just got to make time to do it. But today I'm just going to go buy some. I'll get to making it a little later. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I really got to go. I will be on later. All right, let's fly. Okay, everybody get the rose water and we'll do it. Okay, bye. Let's fly.